Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome to my soon-to-be three-year-old single-player survival world. Now, the reason we're on here is because, um, well, let's be honest, I have a problem. A lag problem. You see, with building in the same world for a long time, you tend to want to do a bunch of different types of projects. And to do these different types of projects would have to mean doing certain types of things or using certain types of blocks. And sure enough, after building certain things like farms or other other things for three years now, can really strain the world. However, um, yeah, I... I don't really know exactly what's causing this, other than chess, which I've been trying to cut down as best I can, ignore the uh, that one room. But yeah, other than that, I'm really not sure. So today I figured, let's, tr let's try and figure this out. Let's try and figure out what is causing all this lag inside of my single player survival world. Let's go. I decided to hop into a super flat world that way we would get the best performance we can possible and also in we're in creative now so we don't have to manually place every single block to figure things out which would take an eternity and a half so we can use the um the slash fill command just like that which makes things much much easier to test things out so yeah let's Look through the creative inventory, see which blocks we want to test out, which I might think there are an abundance of in my survival world, and then we'll test them out. Before we get started, I'd like to note that I'm going to be doing all these tests on the Bedrock Edition of the game. So if you're playing in, say, Java Edition, you might get different results. Now without a way, let's take a look at the most obvious source of lag, in my opinion, the these little blocks, and oh, we okay, yep, this is no surprise to me at all. Like, chests are famous, oh, famously known for being serious lag causers, and just move, trying to move around is just. Not, not right. And even them trying to render in isn't properly working correctly. So, yeah, we don't even have to see them to know that chests are obvious, obviously in the source of lag. Serious, serious lag. To make things a little bit easier, I decided to build a tiny little plaque pillar of blocks, red sign being the serious, or maybe not serious, but definite lag causers, and the green being the not as bad as we think, or not lag causers at all, but chests, chests, I, sorry bro, but you're one of them, you're one of the bad ones, in ma mass quantity of you, it gets bad really bad. I remember testing these a long time ago, and remember them being seriously, seriously bad, and now that been a while, it's... Whoa, it is even worse than I remembered. Well, if nothing else, this is really cool looking, like, I don't think I've ever seen just the top part of the piston head render in so it's cool looking if nothing else but other than that yep pistons if you have a lot of them maybe maybe try slimming down on your on your piston usage chess you may not you might not be as bad as i thought you were because yeah pistons pistons are Probably around the same as you, if not worse. But yeah. Both of them, both of you, not great. Not great at all. Hoppers? Hoppers aren't quite as bad as I thought they'd be. I mean, I 
I knew they were, you know, frame ratey this whole time, but like in terms of the other ones, the piston and the chest, I mean, it's not quite as bad as I would have thought. So, hmm, you know, probably should have had another tier to this. I mean, these are still pretty laggy, but they're not quite as bad as you might as you might think. So I'm still putting them like I'm putting them with these guys if I can yep I'm putting them with these but not quite as bad as you might have thought just don't have like six million hoppers and I think you'd be fine so I'm kind of stupid I figured I'd try um try out the door to see if it wouldn't lag at all to because it has sort of sort of an animation but kind of not and I tried stacking doors on top of each other, and, uh, yeah, the the results, um, I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. I think they're all trying to stack on top of each other, but because it's they're two blocks high, they're, they don't know what to do, so probably soon I'm expecting a whole bunch of entities just sitting on the floor, so, um... Yeah, I think the door, I'll give it a pass. I'll... Oh. Yep. There they are. Okay. There's all the entities. Fantastic. So... Yeah. M my fault. Okay, now we have all the doors in place. And, yeah. Not... No lag at all that I can... That I can tell. Like... Figured I'd try it out, though, just in case, but, yep, in terms of lag, uh, door, you, you get a pass, you get a pass here, so, welcome to the good side, have as many doors as you want. So it's been a little while since the last clip, and after some thinking, the tiering totem really wasn't going to work for our needs, so instead I've made this. Something is closer to the edges than the others, and that determines whether it's better or for worse than other blocks. And if it's further up on the board than it is others, then that determines that there are there's more or less in my survival world. Now with that out of the way, let's do some super fast lightning rounds. The bed is pretty bad in mass quantities, but for me, I would say I'd put the bed about about here. The fence? I have no idea, really. So, uh, I'm just gonna put it here, cause, just here, cause I have a lot of them, but I can't, I can't really tell if it's frame rate or not. So, uh, this little gray yellow area will do the trick for it. Well, scaffolding is a lot worse than I thought it'd be. I think it works best in the same place as the chest because it is extremely laggy, but it's also gonna it's also going right down at the bottom because well scaffolding is kind of a temporary block like you use it for building and then you get rid of it so I hardly have any in my world. I'd like to see the minecrafter who'd be dedicated enough to get this amount of beacons, but because I am not that dedicated player, the beacon will go right down at the bottom, right next to scaffolding, because it's pretty laggy for this block, but, you know, wasn't sure if tall grass caused any lag until now, which it seems to not cause any lag whatsoever. I have no idea how much tall grass I have in my roll, but I'm just going to say here, maybe. And the last one I want to try... For today is the carpet because because of its 3d texture i figured it might have some lag but not looking like it with hundreds of millions of them here it's not looking like there's hardly hardly any lag at all so carpets can go right around here in this little bundle of area on top of a trapdoor with all these friendly nice blocks where you can have as many as you want and not have any lag whatsoever so now that I know that I have a uh, a pretty serious piston and a uh, and hopper addiction, I think it's time I probably cut back on some 
some redstone contraptions involving these things. So, uh, unfortunately. So, but anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If any of you have been having any FPS problems in your worlds and want to get them fixed, hopefully this this helped you out a little bit. So, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.